What's up, fight fans? Once again, we're back with the In the Ring Boxing.com podcast show. Joining us for today's show is super middleweight contender Elvin Ayala. Elvin, not even 24 hours has passed since your technical knockout victory over George Armenta. Thanks a lot for coming on the show so soon, man. That's no problem. I appreciate the support, guys. No problem. So let's talk about the fight. Uh, how'd you feel in there? What'd you get out of it? Uh, it was good. I, I was a little bit um, nervous, and I had some stuff in my mind. I didn't let it uh, bother me too much because uh, one of my best friends just passed away, and uh, his viewing actually was the same day of the fight. So it was kind of like you know a little a little mind boggling, but I got through it. And like in the beginning of the round, I was kind of I was kind of stuck and I, I drifted a little bit, I, I believe. But then I picked the pace up and I, I started you know establishing my jab and landing some combinations and I heard him the first the first time in the second round with a right hand to his jaw and then uh, he got back up I couldn't check him out but then I, I kind of like was just like relaxing a little bit and then in, in the fourth round I heard him with a serious body shot and then he couldn't continue to fight yeah and uh, definitely man uh, sorry to hear you know about your loss but you definitely uh, put on a good performance in his honor um yeah, round round two, you did catch him with that good right hand. He kind of crumpled to the canvas. Actually, I was sitting basically right up on the apron on that side of the ring. I saw his face. He was definitely hurt, but he got back up. Did that surprise you? No, nah, because I already knew he was a game fighter. I knew he, he came to fight, and I knew that uh, he, he's a, a warrior. I give respect to all fighters that get in the ring, first and foremost. But uh, he was definitely there to prove a point. You know, he, he said, he told me, actually his team told me afterwards, you know, we studied a lot of tapes on you and we thought you was going to go towards your right and all that. I mean, towards your left. Because usually when you throw your jabs, you just flicker it out there and move towards your left. So we was going to force you to go towards your right. And I, kind of, I, I told him back, I was like, that's, that's funny because he was working on moving towards my right because we figured that you was going to do that. <laughs> 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 so it kind of worked out pretty good. Okay, yeah, so my next question was going to be, were you surprised that he got up from the body shot? But, like, I already know you just said you're, you're not surprised because he's a game fighter. But with that being said, you're working with a new trainer, uh, Peter Manfredo Sr., and this is, uh, what, your third fight at 168? Yes, so far it's my third fight at 168. I was going uh, to try to come down back to 160, if I can make the weight without struggling, then I, I would, I, you know, I would do that. But if not, I, I, I feel pretty comfortable at 168. And uh, you know, I know I haven't. I mean, I've been in there. Like I said, I give respect to all fighters, and I've been in there with, with uh, decent opponents. But there's still top-notch opponents out there that is, is far more serious than the people that I've been facing. So you know, can I deal with that? I believe so. But um, only time can tell. Well, this is your second consecutive knockout at 168. Uh, is it safe to say that you feel much stronger at super middleweight? Yeah, I do. I, I feel stronger. I feel more comfortable. Uh, I don't have to kill myself with weight. You know, I, I still have to respect my body and, and know that I can't be putting anything in my life because I'll eat everything. You cook it. If it's well done, I'm eating it. So I got to respect that and, and kind of be moderate and eat only what I need and, and, and not pick out, you know? I hear you, man. So what's next for you, man? What's what's, what's the plan? Well, uh, they're talking about July. I don't know if it's Foxwoods or Mohegan. I'm going to take a week off, go visit my family and hang out with the family. Like, I'm, I'm with my ch two children now. And then I go see some family in Florida. And then I come back, go back to the, to the drawing board and, and get back get back in and get busy again. All right. Uh, Alvin, you have a huge fan base in the New England area. A lot of people came out to support you did your thing and put on a good show for them. Is there anything you want to say to your fans at this time? I just want to say thanks. Thank you to all those fans out there. I mean, like I said, these, these people are, they believe, they see something in me that I I didn't even see myself, and they're making me believe in myself. So I figure if they believe it, 
then it's got to be true. So I'm going hard. I'm, I'm going, I'm doing what they believe I can do, which makes me believe even, even more. You know what I mean? So I'm going hard this time and, and I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. I'm, I'm going to, I want to get some titles. I want to retire as a champion. And um, I got New Haven on my back. So I'm going all the way. Elvin, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Take care. God bless. All right, man. Have a good one. Okay, Fight Fans, you heard it right here on the InTheRingBoxing.com podcast show. That was Elvin Ayala. Look out for him probably to come back in July. My name is Carlos Cruz from InTheRingBoxing.com telling you to stay cool and educate yourself. Peace.